Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Miss Lion's channel. Guys, welcome to another week. Remote sauce. Remote sauce. Reeky deeky -de remote sauce. Okay. I'm super excited to roll out the next five entries in the CQJ. The CQJ, which is that amazing quarantine journal that will be a keepsake forever. We are documenting all of what is going on inside and out in this book using all the materials that you have right inside your home. Okay, so quick review and we'll move forward. Hello everybody. I hope you're doing super duper good. Thank you for joining the classroom and getting all of your work done. I know it's challenging, I get it. But you're doing awesome, so keep up the good work. Okay, so what have we done? I don't remember, <laughs> let me check. Okay, so we have our front cover, back cover, still working on my back cover, but it's getting there pretty nicely. Um, step two, step three, excuse my French. Step three was our raw cut um, activity. And our next page, page number two, is our Q goals, okay? The Q goals. Step three, or page three, is our TP time, the TP time project. Um, activity number four, here we go. On the fourth page of your C, Q, J. Here we go, let's get started. Um, hope you guys are like taking time to have fun at home. Do not go anywhere. <laughs> okay? Yeah. All right. You know that. Any weasel. Okay. Turning pages. Turning pages. Okay. So our fourth entry, page four of the CQJ is, I'm grabbing a marker so I can write. I got some cool new markers. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I love them yet. I'm trying to decide. Okay. Ugh. Yeah. All right. Page four. Boom. Okay. Um, is going to be an activity that is wrapped around line. Okay. And you're like, what do you mean lady? What do you mean line? Well, let me share. We're going to do what is called a med meditation. Is that good? Oh, it's fine. I kind of want it a little bigger though, a little fatter. Meditation, repetition, rep, <laughs> rep, it is That is a P, not a T. That is a P. Meditation, repetition. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this activity is something to draw with. So it can be a pencil or a pen. I don't recommend something that's going to bleed through your pages. Um, yeah, so anyway, if it does bleed, then just put a paper underneath it. Like if you must use a Sharpie, some of you just like have to use that marker. Um, just make sure you put a random piece of paper underneath so that it'll bleed onto that page and not onto your CQJ, okay? Um, okay, so that's step one. Step two is you're going to find some music that's soothing, okay? Now that's optional. You you don't necessarily have to have music for this uh, for this activity. Although I I love I love music and um, just relaxing and kind of getting into the mood of meditation uh, repetition. Definitely music shall help. I think. Um, don't go for rap or any of your crazy funky music with tons of text and tons of singing and blah blah blah. It needs to be soothing music, super, uh, you want it to be um, instruments or it could be totally digi out, digital style fashion, but it's going to get you into the groove of really concentrating online and concentrating on you, okay? Um, you can do this two ways. You can do this in two 15-minute sessions or one 30-minute session, okay? 
Um, and you have to have some like complete and sincerely solo time. So if that means you're going to lock yourself in the bathroom because there's nowhere else that's going to give you that personal space, then that's where you're going to go. Um, but hopefully you can find a place that's not, um, there, uh, but okay, whatever. Um, that can give you that t complete solitude for this, uh, project, for this activity in the CQ jet. Um, so what do you do? Well, you turn on the music, blah, be -doo, be -doo, be -doo. and then you're going to start with your uh, item, your writing utensil, and it doesn't matter where you start on your page, okay? I do not care, but what you're going to do, I'm going to tilt, oh, this is bugging, tilt, 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 a little tilt, okay? What you're going to do, you guys, is you're going to start with one line. And it doesn't matter, like I said, where it starts on the page. And again, if you start somewhere different than me, remember, and, it, and you're going to be by yourself. I'm just going to do a quick little demo, demo, demo. But again, I want you to do your O-W-N, your own sauce, your own style. Okay, so what do you do, lady? Okay, it's about line repetition. So I'm going to start with a line, okay? Meanwhile... I'm listening to the sounds of the squeaky marker. I'm going super slow, okay? I'm, I'm not going slow enough, but for the purpose of just demonstration, you're going to go super slow listening to your Lala music. Boom. And you're going to go again. This time you're going to come. You're going to redraw that line right over it. Slow. Slow. Okay. And while you're doing this little repetitional, repetitional line dance. I want you to just focus on the ink or on the pencil, the line that's actually coming onto the paper, okay? And then you're going to start, I want you to focus on that, okay? And after that, you're going to be like, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, whoops, I wonder what's happening on Snapchat. Oh, fill in the blank. So when those thoughts come in your mind, just, that's fine. Let them fly away, okay? Let those fly Fly, fly, fly away. You get what I'm saying. Okay? And come back to the line. Come back to your line. Okay? So this is a way to create a beautiful piece of artwork that is unique and is focused on you, your mind, and your well-being. It's weird. It's really fun. Okay. Slow music, no interruptions. Okay, come back to the line. Okay, 15 minutes might be really hard to do. 30 minutes, holy moly, hard to do for some of you. Okay, so you can break it up into whatever how you decide. Okay, so you're gonna be filling your entire page. Can the, do the lines have to be all organic? No! Does, can you start in the middle of the paper? Yes! Okay, it's really up to you, Scooby-Doo, how you make your line, okay? I, I went for total organic here. I could have gone for geometric. I could have gone for both. <laughs> All right, so it's really up to you. You are the artiste, okay? Um, after you're done with your 215 or 130 minute segment, what I want you to do is on the back of your paper, um, it's hard for me to turn mine over, so I'll just do this like this. Um, I want you to jot down uh, one, two, three. The three things that come into your mind right after, whatever it is, okay? Whether that's gummies <laughs> or um, tired or I don't know. Whatever those three words are, I just want you to just jot them down um, just because it's just an interesting way to see what you're thinking about, okay? Um, meditation or repetition. Page four in the CQJ. Moving right along. Moving right along, moving right along. Okay, the next activity, page five in the CQJ, uh, is going to be 
a letter, okay? Yes, you are going to write a letter, okay? Oh goodness, are you ready for this one? This one is going to be very special, okay? So I need to talk about it. I need to tell you what, how to set the stage for this very important letter, okay? So I want you right now to uh, pretend you are your own best friend, <laughs> okay? So you know everything about your best friend. You know the strengths of your best friend. You know uh, their personality inside and out. You know uh, their insecurities and what makes them frustrated really easily. You know what foods they like. You know what type of music they like. You know what um, how they feel about their parents. You know how they feel about their siblings. You know how they feel about their dog. Um, you know everything about your best friend, right? Okay, so what you're going to do is I want you to really sit and think about this for a few minutes because what I need you to do for this activity, I know we're going, we're going to go deep again. We're going to go deep, 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 deep. I want you to write a letter of encouragement to your best friend, who is yourself, okay? So it would start for me <laughs> like this. All right. Okay. Dear Carrie. That's me. <laughs> okay. And then I would start by saying all of the things that I need to hear from my best friend right now. All of those really important things of encouragement that I really could hear from my best friend to just keep me super strong and happy, okay? Um, I want you to think about school or things that arise for you that, you know, could be troubling or things that you're super excited about as well. Um, and I want you to just write that letter of encouragement. I just want you to know that, fill in the blank. Um, and again, I'm not going to write this out. I believe in you and I am an art teacher. <laughs> now, you're like, lady again, what are we doing this for? Okay, so it's really, really important, ladies and gentlemen, that you feel very comfortable with yourself. If you feel very comfortable with yourself and with yourself and you're going to express yourself on paper feeling that vulnerability, ladies and gentlemen, you can tap into your creative and innovative, innovative side, okay? I need to slow down. My words are getting jumbly and I do not have time for a take two, okay? So I want you to talk about everything and I want you to be specific, okay? I know you're feeling really um, nervous about getting all of that math homework finished right now, but I just want you to know that you're doing a really good job and you're putting out all of your effort, okay? Um, and so that's an example. I, I want you to be specific with your encouragement. I know right now that your dog keeps pooping in your bedroom and it's really causing a big stink. And so I just want you to know that just keep cleaning and maybe you should put your dog outside at night, okay? <laughs> so this is a letter of encouragement to yourself as your BFF, okay? Specific. Now, one more thing before I move on. When you turn this in, if this is too personal for you to share with me, because some of you will go deep, and I, and I want you to, okay? You, what I need you to do um, when you snap a picture and turn it into me, just put like a piece of paper like over it, you know what I mean, like this or something, and then snap the picture so I can see you wrote to yourself, but I don't need to see the content, okay? It's for you, but if you wanna share, fine. But if you don't feel comfortable sharing, that's, I, I, I understand, okay? Okay, letter to yourself as your BFF, a letter of encouragement, what you really need to hear from your BFF right this moment. Okay, tapping in, tapping into the creative side of your brain. Okay, that's activity number five on page five. Okay, next item. The next activity in the CQJ is super fun, and it's page six, page six, page six. I'm gonna go back to my Sharpies, I'm telling you. I'm gonna go back, back 
to my Sharpie land. Because my Sharpies are always the best. Okay. Oh, lady. Okay. This um, activity, page six, is definitely not deep. So for those of you who are tired of me, like, kind of like going crazy, like, oh, she's going way too deep. Um, this one is going to be really fun, okay? Oh, yay. Oh my gosh, I have to show you. Look at my favorite sticker right now. Me, I love my macaroonio sticker, even though I can't eat macaroons. They're so cute. Um, anyway, so, okay, page six is called Media, M-E-D-I-A, Exploration, okay? Media Exploration, okay? So let me describe, and then I'll tell you what you need. Okay, so media. Media are art supplies. They are what you're using to create art. It's called media. It can also be called Midi M. Not large, not small. Okay? Medium and media. So what I'd like to, to do is to create one side of the page with traditional medium. Oh my. I'm having errors today <laughs> with my spelling. It's because it's the pen. It's so noisy. Traditional versus. Does your line have to look like that? No, it does not. It does not. It does not. Okay, I am getting way too close to the mic, but I'm trying to see if I quickly have a Sharpie nearby because this pen, the squeakiness is like, is cramping my video. Oh, I don't, I don't have time to go look for it. Okay, traditional. What are traditional medium? Well, you probably already know. Marker, that would be one. Traditional medium, pencil. Traditional medium, paint. Acrylic paint, watercolor paint, charcoal, chalk. You fill in the blank. Okay, so on this side, I want you to find all of your traditional media and create samples and doodles or shapes. You could actually create a piece of artwork. I've seen this before as an actual piece of artwork. On one side is your traditional medium, and on the other side, are you ready? I want you to try your best to get at least five, um, at five to 10. I know that's asking a lot because we're at home and you can't go anywhere, um, but most of you do have some random, oh, crayons, random art supplies hanging out. Color pencils, okay? Um, so traditional media, okay? Boom shalaka. On the other side of town, now it gets really fun. We're gonna go for non-traditional, okay? Non-traditional. Medium, okay? So non-traditional medium is going to be things that are unusual that people use to make art with, okay? So things that come to mind when I think of non-traditional uh, ways to create art is number one, I go to the kitchen, first of all. Um, for example, could you paint with soy sauce? Yes, non-traditional, okay? Paint with soy sauce. <laughs> what else? I don't know, do you have honey in your, in your pantry? If you have honey, you can sprinkle it with a little pepper. That would be non-traditional art form medium, okay? Um, other items, uh, you could go outside, get a rock, and rub, rubby, rubby. Um, other non-traditional forms of uh, art medium would be nail polish, yay, or how about some makeup, or here's some more, some more makeup makeup, um, what else, what else, what else? You, the sky's the limit. Look in your, look in your kitchen, look in your fridge, look in your bathroom, and look outside. Okay, so I want to have at least five to ten. Oh no, we're going to go for ten on this side. You know why? Because you're definitely going to be able to find majorly non-traditional things, okay? Okay. 
making a video. Thank you. <laughs> non-traditional. Okay, moving. That was non-traditional. Okay, moving right along. Um, ten. Five to ten. Ten. Next page. Did I forget anything? Probably, because <laughs> I have a thousand things on my mind. But we're getting through it, and you're having a great time, and we're learning art concepts on the way. Okay, that was number six. My notes. Page seven. Ooh, I love this one. Page seven. Next activity in the seat. Two J. Seven is a current. Mood collage. Now, just a really, let me remind you here. You're not writing large, right? You're not taking up a quarter of your paper by the weasel. Just want to say that out loud. You guys are writing S M A W -L, L because I want to see the art. I know what the title is, yo. So just keep that in mind while uh, you're following along here. Okay, current mood collage. What I'd like you to do for this activity is um, we're going to focus for this one in composition. You're like, what are you talking about, woman? Composition. We're going to get to the principles of design here in the month of May coming up. And so we're going to start. I mean, they're all interconnected, right? Interconnection. Composition. Composition is how things are laid out on an artwork, how things are put onto a surface, or how things are put together um, to create your artworks. Sometimes uh, artists make their composition um, unbalanced, maybe all their artwork kind of living over here. So a lot of times artists make their composition balanced. Um, it just depends on what you're trying to um, communicate to your viewer right okay so collage this is where the st uh, you're going to need more items from around the house what do you need scooby-doo well it would be nice if you had glue of some sort a glue stick uh, if you don't have glue then you could use some sort of tape okay so you're gonna take your glue and then you're gonna oh don't do that <laughs> Anyway, I don't know why I have that weird temptation every time I see the glue. I don't know because I'm strange. Okay, so you're going to need glue, something to tape, and then you're also going to need random things with print on it. So if you have junk mail, magazines, old books, stuff like that would work. So let me show you what I rounded up. So I have this old book that we're probably just going to get rid of. So this book has words. Okay, I found some paint swatches kind of hanging out in the garage with words and actually the colors. Oh, I like the labels. The labels of the um the names of the paint swatches are always always interesting to me. Oh yeah, the kitchen. The kitchen also has a lot of good stuff. So, if you have a packaging, you're welcome to use the words from the packaging. Um what is another item? Oh, old you know, old, you know, old games, stuff like that. Oh, another thing that you could find that would be good for the collage that has words on it would be like, just oh, like, these are my amazing wireless earbuds. <laughs> so I could use these and look for the text, text, T-E-X-T, -E right? So what you're going to do is you're going to um, peruse what you have that has text on it, magazines. Do not cut up any amazing book of your family, so by the weasel, right? Only things that are pretty much on their way out. Okay, um, and what you're going to do is you're going to take words out of those um, magazines, fill in the blank that you have found, that really um, encapsulate your mood right now. How do you feel right now? I don't know. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to cut out, I'd say, at least one dozen words. And statements, they could be even, I mean, what if you like the whole paragraph? Cut it out. Cut that baby out. By the way, you need scissors, right, to cut stuff out. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, your items and you're going to cut them out. I'm just going to cut out one. There's one word that I see that really identifies with my mood right now. And that is hide. Yep. 
Okay. All right. Why? It's my current mood. Hi. I'm hiding. Okay. So here we go. Hide. So I'm just going to, you know, make my stack. Once I have my stack of words, they could be fragmented thoughts. It could actually be a poem that rhymes or not. It could be an acrostic. What do they call that? Acrostic? Whatever. You guys know. You guys are amazing in language arts. Um, but really, it's completely up to you. Okay? So once you have your one dozen words cutouts, fill in the blank, cutty, 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 outy, 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 what you're going to do is you're going to lay them out on your paper. And you're going to puzzle them around until they look good, until the composition looks nice. Are you, maybe you want to put them in a circle. Maybe you're going to put them in a diagonal line. Maybe they're going to be interesting. I don't know. But it should look really good. Your composition, when we look at your artwork, it should really come together like it was supposed to be there. Okay? Um... So that's that. You're going to position your words on your paper and then you're going to glue. Glue, glue them down or tape, tape, tape it down. Okay. The last item that you're going to do once you have your collage um, set down on your paper is you're going to uh, add your final touches with colored pencil, marker, pen, um, with doodles, designs, pictures, um, you fill in the blank on that, but I do want you to kind of finish it off with some sort of your magical touch on that. Okay. Current mood collage. Oh, I'm so curious to see what your moods are, everybody. I'm in a great mood. Ah, ah, yay. Okay. Okay, lady. Tone it down. Tone it down. Okay. The last item of the week is... A very important art concept that I really want to quickly dive into, and it's one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> All the art concepts are. Um, page eight. Lovely. Today's not my best writing day. You're going to forgive me, right? Good. Thanks. Bye. It is all about positive and negative space okay positive and negative space and space is an element of art <laughs> yeah okay so when the world are you talking about lady well let me explain what positive and negative space is okay so positive space in art Okay, positive space is an area of an object that fills up an area of something. So if you look here at my baby, um, this would be the positive space, what's filled in right here. The negative space is the space that is around the item of artwork. Okay, all right, the area that it's Occupied is the positive, and the area around or between is negative, okay? So if you look at the scissors, same thing. The scissors, the area that takes up the mass is the positive, and the negative is all that air behind it, okay? That's negative space, okay? Awesome demo, lady. Ha! <laughs> nice. Okay, oh, by the way, non-traditional. This could be a non-traditional part of that prod, uh, that activity. You could take it, dip it in your soy, or dip it in ketchup, dip it in mustard, dip it in sriracha, and boom, 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 stamp, 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 stamp. Oh my gosh, off topic, off topic, going back, coming forward. Okay, so what I want you to do, back to page eight, is I want you to pick something to draw, okay? Um, so I was going to draw my squishy. Um, it wa I want it to be meaningful to you. Okay. It needs to be totally important to you. And I do love my squishy. I do. Where's my other one? Where's, oh, it's inside. It's by my fish tank. Okay. So for example, forget it. I want to draw something else. I'm not in the mood to draw you, even though I love you. Okay. I'm going to go get a little cactus because I want to draw my cactus. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm coming with a plant. Uh-oh. What was that? I heard a big, big barky poo. Okay. All right. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to draw 
your item on your page, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna quickly draw. Now you're gonna take a lot longer than me because you don't wanna watch my video. Boring, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna, again, always starting with the contour um, of my shape. Okay, going very expressive this beautiful day. Okay, and then I can see all the little dirt, dirt, and then the spikes coming up. Spiky, spiky. Mm, ba -doo. Spiky, dikey, spike. Boop, ba -doo, beep, boo. Okay, spike. And I can kind of see where that stops. And like so. All right. Then I would take some time to add my details. Okay. I don't want you to add too many details for this, okay? Okay, don't add too, 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 too many. Okay, in fact, like this is like black. Uh, I don't want you to color this in black, sorry. Don't color things in dark. And you're like, why lady, why? Why lady, why? Okay, what I want you to do is once you've drawn your positive spaced item, okay, this positive space, and now I have this negative space behind it, we're gonna take it back, we're gonna take it one step further, guys. One step further, okay? So, that's step one positive space, and then the negative space. Okay, so how we're gonna make this radical is once you have this completed, what I need you to do is you're gonna take one color of choice. I want you to take a happy color. All right, happy color, that's the one speaking to me, right pink? Happy color, are you still recording? Oh my goodness, it's a long video. I am very long-winded. Long-winded lady, long-winded lady. Okay, so get to the point, woman. All right, so the next step, we are, you know how English is so odd, how it has a zillion multiple meanings? Multiple meanings, that's why it's, our language is such a difficult language to learn, okay? So, positive. So what I want you to do, Scooby-Doo, is inside your positive shape, you're going to jot down all the positive things in your life. I know. Okay. So here we go. Um, I'm going to start right here. I love my doggies. I miss my one doggie that ran away. Um, what else? Oh, I love my fish. I, of course, love my babies. You know that. Um, what other things are positive in my life? I have a lot. I love art. The art is working for me, lady. Um, other things, okay? I want you to list, draw, write, right into that. So it's filled completely with the positive things in your life. Positivity. Going D-O-W-N, right here, okay? All right, and you don't know. I'll, I'll finish it later. You, you can see it later, okay? You guys know. There's a lot of good things going on, right? Um, okay, health. I gotta say that one though. That one is muy, muy, muy importante. Okay, so filled completely. Okay, I'm gonna stretch your brain there. All right, and kind of think with you guys kind of know what's coming next, huh? Don't ya? Don't ya? Don't you? Don't you? Don't ya? Okay, I'm gonna go with a negative. We're gonna go for, oh goodness, how about, I don't know. This kind of maroony is kind of what I was just drawn toward. Okay, so you're going to ugh, go on the negative once you've done your positives. And what you're gonna do is I want you to write down all the negative things on the negative space that are happening right now for you. Negative, I know, we're gonna go there. We're gonna go to the B-A-D, capital B to the A to the D. Bad things. All right, well, obviously, this ain't good, okay? I miss you, I miss my people, bad, okay? What else? Um, can't go anywhere, okay? Filled with the negative. <laughs> I hope you make this piece a little bigger. Let's go with a giant shape, a giant item. 
so that we don't have so much. Okay, I guess it's up to you. If you have a lot of positive stuff happening in your life and you have a lot of positive things to say, please make your object large <laughs> because then you can really, really uh, have a lot more space. Now, if you have a lot more negative things that are happening going down in your life, then okay, fine, you can make it smaller if you need this area larger, okay? So we're, we're taking this twofold, right? We're talking about positive and negative space and then we're punching it home with positive and negative in your life. Okay. 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 So that's that. Woo! All right. So moving backward really quick. I'm going to try to get this in one minute. We got page eight. Positive to the negative. Positive to the negative. Positive to the negative. Page seven. Current new collage. Current new collage. Okay. With, uh, you know, stuff. Page six, media exploration. Okay, we're gonna explore around the house for stuff you could use for art. Whoa, yay. Okay. Oh yes, page five, your letter, the letter to you to yourself as your B to the F to the F, okay? B, F, F, okay? All right. I'm not trying to say that your best friend isn't like, enough, but I want to say we're going to pretend. Anyway, going back down. And our first activity, page four, your meditation repetition. Okay. Those are the five activities for the week. I want you to dedicate about 30 minutes per activity. You may go over 30, but that's kind of like the time, you know, that it took, that'll take me to get these done. Have I done them? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope you guys are doing really good. I am super excited about our Friday Aloha meetups. So I can't wait to see you guys. Um, anyways, um, I hope you guys are um, safe and doing well. And um, until the next video, have a a really good one and what else can I share with you anything that's oh okay I was gonna share this but I was like oh positive and negative space you know positive space negative sp okay talking too much anyway bye